So in seminary, um, I took a class and most of the grade was based on the final examination and studied hard for that test. And when I got it back, I saw that I got a 72%. And I was pretty bummed, not as high as I was hoping. And I went online and saw um, some of the other grades, saw that the class average was a 59. And that got me pretty excited. I remember looking at that and thinking, wow, yeah, like I am pretty good. It makes sense that I would get much higher than the class average. I um, studied really hard. I am pretty good at the subject. And so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty good with that. Uh, then I scrolled down a little bit further and saw that the class high was a 97. And then reality kind of hit me um, that I still did not live up to the expectation or um, what could have been done. This was hard, um, but I think this is also kind of how I approach confession. Uh, I look around me and I see, well, I'm not really doing too bad and I only have to confess sins maybe that are like really bad, but uh, when I dwell upon the holiness and the perfection of God, uh, I'm brought back to reality that I am so much less than what I need to be and what God requires of me. Um, and so let us now go into this time of confession, dwelling upon his holiness, not in those around us or in um, what the world tells us is good or not, but in his utter perfection. Dear God, we are such broken people. We look upon you and we see how great you are, how holy you are, how perfect you are, how amazing your son was. God, and we look at ourselves and we see how far we are from that mark. We look around and try and bolster our pride, but we see how broken, how selfish, self-seeking we truly are. God, we need you. We need you to take away these sins so that we can be with you, God. We ask now for your forgiveness in the wake of our sins, that you would remove those as far as the east is from the west, God. So far, please remove our sins from us. Join me now in singing His Mercy is More. <laughs> 